Hi everyone, <clears throat> happy Friday. My name is Tali from WSI Digital Pass. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I would like to speak about SEO once again. Uh, some mistakes that businesses and uh, some agencies and marketers uh, do around SEO and what could be a possible solution, what we have to pay attention to. So today's topic is why should we care about SEO content? Many times we pay a lot of attention to technical SEO. What is technical SEO? It's all the on page, loading speed, keyword research, H1, H2 tags, alt uh, tags for images. It's all great. Don't get me wrong. This is kind of a, a foundation for any successful SEO campaigns. But we as marketers and as business owners have to look deeper to SEO strategy. And sometimes building the strategy, it takes a, a little bit more effort and research in better understanding your customers and prospects. So how do we build successful strategy for SEO? I'm sure many times you faced it yourself. You search for something on Google, for example, you click, go to this article just to discover after a couple of lines that it's completely boring or it is not providing any value. Maybe it is SEO optimized kind of has have a lot of uh, keywords and, uh, you know, target keywords in H1, H2, but it's not engaging. So we would like to reach the engagement level. That's what is important with, with SEO because you put so uh, many efforts to build this SEO optimization, this on page and everything to drive actually people to your either landing page or a website. So you want to keep them engaged and interested so they will come back to read uh, your content, right? You don't want people to uh, come to your the properties just to realize the content is not really worth anything, right? Not interested, not, in, not engaging. So let's take a, a look at a couple of kind of ideas or optimization to how to write more engaging content, how to be more successful with SEO content, and what to pay attention to, right? So first of all, I already mentioned this uh, uh, earlier, pay attention to your customers. Who are they? What they are looking for? What their pain points? And simply put yourself in their shoes. What are they looking for? If they're looking for certain answers to some questions, then provide those uh, to your customers, right? So this should be a combination of keyword research, absolutely, but it should be all around what your customers are looking for, right? Don't try to just promote your products or services, but try to help and to educate. Another good idea is to check what your competitor is doing. Uh, one of the videos I did before, it's about competitive analysis, right? What your competition is about, what they're doing, what kind of uh, content strategy your competitors are using. So just to be aware, nobody says copy and paste your competitors, but just to be aware what is out there, you know, what's to expect, right? And understand your uh, target niche better from professional point, right? So just, if, for example, if you work with um, low, low industry, right? So just learn more about different aspects in this space. So obviously you, you can't become an expert in the industry, but you can understand it better, right? And understand different uh, content ideas, different problems to solve. So just try to learn more about uh, certain uh, topics. And research uh, should be done uh, completely, not just from a uh, keyword perspective, but the topic itself, right? So don't rely only on one source because 
those days on the internet, you can find plenty of information about any topic from many sources. Sometimes and many times the information could be different completely. So just try to rely on more than one source and see, see that it makes sense, right? So, and sometimes it's good to use some of the free tools like uh, Google Keyword Planner. There is a plenty of uh, tools that you can uh, plug your information. If you don't have any platforms, even, you know, simple uh, Google Drive documents that you can share with your uh, team, uh, research based on research, on keywords, on topics, as well as sources that you uh, basing on your content, it would be a good idea. And obviously, as the best way is to create content in-house, in-house, we speak about, you know, to bring the content creation in-house from research, from technical to content creation. So everything is in one place. That's ideal situation. And um, we actually have some clients that they write content because we would never be, you know, at this professional level and know their business and their industry the same way. They would write a content and we would optimize it for SEO to, to target uh, and to achieve our goals with uh, SEO campaigns according to uh, what we set up, right? But um, for those who are uh, not getting, uh, you know, clients that are not writing the content, we do really deep uh, research and obviously aligning and approving the content because it's important not to make uh, um, mistakes, but on the other hand, again, to provide valuable information because those, those days, remember, people looking online for either some entertainment and exciting information, education, or to get, you know, some inspiration. So it should, it should meet some, some of those. So in summary, uh, review what you're doing with your ECO strategy. Don't get stuck only on the uh, technical and on page SEO, which is, don't get me wrong, really, really important. Without this, you can't move. But just uh, expand, look outside of the box and try to be creative with your content as well as understand better your customers and prospects. Please subscribe to my channel to get weekly updates about digital marketing, different aspects of digital marketing, my real estate hobby. Next week, wait for this one. Uh, and overall about any anything fun and exciting. Have an amazing week, everyone. And I'll see you next week. Bye for now.